Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am currently working on my makeup and there's something in my eye. My eye's been really itchy this morning. I think I got something in it when I was washing my face and it like keeps coming back. Anyways, hope you guys are doing well. I am currently doing my makeup. I think I might've just said that because yesterday was my nephew's first birthday. Happy birthday, little one. Um, and today is his birthday party. So I am just putting on my face. Um, to get ready for his little birthday party and I'm so excited. I love seeing my nephews, they're just the cutest little things. Um, but I figured I would do a little weekend vlog because I have a lot of fun stuff do I'm doing this weekend. This weekend is packed to the brim. Um, I'm supposed to have acting class today from one to four, um, but I'm not going because his party's at two anyways um and so I would only get to stay at acting class for like 30 minutes before I have to leave plus my um sister-in-law is requesting um a little bit of assistance with the boys so that she can get everything for the party ready which is totally understandable because I'm sure it's really hard to clean up and set up your house for a party when you have two toddlers running around <laughs> two under two for that matter um, so I'm going to head over there a little early, uh, to help her out. But the main th reason I wanted to film this weekend is because I'm doing a photo shoot with a couple of my friends for, um, Holly Lolly, which if you're new here, hi, my name is Holly. I have an Etsy shop where I sell Minnie Mouse ears for people to wear at Disney World. Um, and we are doing a fun little photo shoot to photograph all of what I call the main collection ears, basically the ears that I'm going to be restocking on a consistent basis. Um, so there are a couple of different fabrics and different designs that are in the main collection. So like I've got this super beautiful sparkly fabric in tons of different colors that's main collection i have some different colors of velvet that are in the main collection i've got some different colors of um gingham that are in the main collection um and a few other things here and there um so we are going to be photographing all of that which is going to be really really fun and then we are also going to be um hopefully photographing some of the halloween ears truthfully i don't know if i'm going to be able to make the halloween ears in time for us to shoot tomorrow because like i still have so many of the normal ears to make so we'll see how that goes i'm really not confident i can get more than just a couple of pairs done so I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to do there yet. It's really going to depend on how the rest of today goes and then tomorrow morning because I would really like to get them done if I can, but you know, there's only so many hours in the day. So that is what I'm doing this weekend and I hope you guys are ready to come along for the ride because I think it's going to be really fun. I also did a shop cider order um I've watched a ton of reviews and I wanted to do like a video just on what I got from them but I really wanted to do a haul of just what I got from them but unfortunately I only got like four items so I don't think it's enough to do a whole separate video on mama come here come here I'm in here baby girl come here oh i have a shop cider haul so i'm gonna finish my makeup and um then i'm going to show you guys what i got from shop cider and i'll try it on and everything so you guys can see like what the vibe is um and then i'm gonna head off to my nephew's birthday party um and yeah i hope you enjoyed the vlog okay you guys i have my shop cider stuff Let's go through it together. Oh, I hate, the only thing I don't like about like unboxing or unpackaging stuff on camera is it's always so loud and I feel like people hate listening to like the crinkle of it. Okay, so first thing I got is 
this, ooh, it's soft, is this blue sweater. And I mainly got this because I thought it would be really cute for an Eeyore bound, a Cinderella bound, a Bo Peep bound, but it is this light blue sweater. If you don't know what a bound is, it's where you dress in the same color scheme as a Disney character. So I know some, not all of you are Disney fans, but that's what that is. So, but then it's got these really cute little floral like crocheted um, flowers on like the buttons. So super cute. It's a little bit cropped. I like that it's got the big like bubble sleeves. I love this. I think I might wear it today to be honest because it's so cute. Very soft as well. Okay, I'm not mad because like cider is like not expensive and you know sometimes like you get a little dicey with these shops and like quality. So I'm glad that it's good quality. Next thing I got, and I'll try all this stuff on in just a second. Next thing I got is this little gingham skirt and stop. That's so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh, I really hope it fits. Oh my gosh, I really hope it fits. Eee, that's so cute. Okay, the main reason I got this is because I have gingham ears in my collection. <gasps> this with like a little Mickey crop top. Stop. Gingham. Give me all the gingham. It's so cute, especially in spring and summer. It just is everything. So, okay. I hope that fits. Oh my gosh, I really hope that fits because that's so cute. <laughs> then I got this pink dress and I thought this would be really cute for a... Cinderella bound in her pink Cinderella dress and I mean it, this one this one probably feels the lowest quality of all of them it's like a very thin like I want to say papery material but it's definitely not paper but it's just like a thin like not super stretchy like cotton like it's not anything super fancy but it's this light pink and it's got like a bandana style print all over it, which I think is really cute. It's got a little tie front and yeah, I just thought that was really cute. So I hope it fits. It's very wrinkly and I think that would even look cute like paired with the blue sweater. I think that would be a really cute like Bo Peep bound. I might do that today to be honest. Last item I got, I'm doing a safari mini bound in Animal Kingdom when I go here in just a couple weeks. And I got this. I'll put a pic of safari mini right here. So I have a brown dress that I just got at H&M. And I thought this would look really cute. Like layered over top of it. It's like a cropped like little collared. It is very wrinkly. This is like a very soft but thin fabric. Um, it's got little hooks down the front, but I just thought this would look really cute. It's also long sleeve, layered over top of the brown dress. And then I can put a belt with it and hopefully look like Safari Mini. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's gonna be really super cute. So I wonder if the prices are on here so I can tell you guys. No, they're not. That's fine. But I mean, cider is really affordable and like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with the quality. Definitely higher quality than a lot of stuff that you get at like Forever 21. I would say, no, I would say it's equal to most of Forever 21. Forever 21 can be quite hit or miss. And I bet cider is the same way. Cause like all of the items do feel nice, but like they're not like Zara nice. Like Zara is definitely higher quality or I'm trying to think of another shop that's like definitely higher quality, but they don't feel like crap quality. So that's good. All right, let's move into my bedroom. I'm going to try these on real quick and let you guys know what I think. Okay. So this is the first dress. I really, really like it, but I don't like the fit of it. I don't know if I got this in a medium or a large, but it fits around my waist and like my bust very well, but it is like very tight around like where it gets to like my hips and my worry is that it is like you guys see it's very short in the back and like as I walk I feel like it's just gonna like ride up and up and get shorter and shorter and like my butt's gonna be out I don't know I do think it'd be like really cute for a picture 
but if I would if I was gonna wear this like to the parks I would need to lose like five pounds <laughs> just because like it would not like yeah you can see how it's like sitting on top of my butt after it rides up and so like it needs to fit like a little bit looser so it can like comfortably stay down that's so funny it's like yeah see as I walk it like sits on top of my butt how weird is that okay it's really cute just not 100% the right fit so I'm gonna keep it you know weight fluctuates we'll see okay next up is this cardigan which I do really like I will say if you have super sensitive skin you might not like this because it is a little bit itchier on than I expected it to be and I, I do have very sensitive skin when it comes to sweaters like if I wear the wrong type of sweater material like my whole chest will be red after wearing it um, but I do really like this I don't think it's gonna irritate my skin I love the big bubble sleeves my only critique is that the buttons that you actually button are huge to the point where I feel like they're like distracting do you, do you guys see what I mean where it's like all I see is like giant buttons like if it's if I'm gonna button it hold on if it's like buttoned you know they're hidden and that's that's cute but I, I'm I'm not a buttoned cardigan person I'm gonna have it unbuttoned and like I mean I'm gonna keep it like I'm not gonna return it over that but I'm just saying if that's like really gonna bother you then this cardigan might not be for you but I really like it I love the color blue I think this would be so cute for so many different looks yeah I like it okay moving on okay I made the mistake of ordering this in a medium which was a bad decision because I don't know if you guys can tell but my arms are like I have some big muscular arms and like I'm literally about to like rip this shirt open <laughs> but I tried to button it a little bit so you guys could see the look I was going for if this was like buttoned <laughs> all the way and then like a belt it also like in the back it does like can you guys see that it like does not come down very like far I don't know it's a little bit more crop than I thought it doesn't like my my natural waist is here so it's like a solid like two inches above my natural waist which I wanted it to hit you know at my waist I can't tell if I should try and reorder this in a large or if it's a lost cause I don't know is this look cute enough to try and reorder it I don't know I don't know <sighs> I'm really sad this doesn't fit this outfit idea was like one of my favorites and like I literally oh it doesn't fit <laughs> okay I might try and find something similar like go to the mall and try something on and try and find something similar I feel like this kind of design is kind of popular right now so hopefully it's not too difficult to find so let's pray our little gingham skirt fits and then I need to actually get dressed for this party okay I do think this skirt is really cute it's a little bit thin um but I do think it's really cute I paired it with this little Mickey hoodie just to get, just, like show you like how I might wear it um I'm a little insecure about my little pooch here like that's just you know one of those insecurities that I have the only other thing that I will say I don't like about it is that like the back is so floofy I can't feel it on my legs and I know this might sound weird maybe maybe some of you guys agree but like when I'm walking I like to be able to feel my skirt hitting the back of my legs so I know it's not like riding up a ton and this shirt I feel like is shirt this skirt I feel like is just snug enough where like when I walk it definitely rides up I don't know I'm just I really really like it but I just I don't know if it fits quite how I would want it to it's also like how it falls at least on me is like really high waisted I don't know if it's just because like my natural waist is really high but like I would prefer it to sit further down but that's just not where it falls on me so yeah and then the this side is like hiked up a little bit so it is a little bit shorter on this side but yeah I mean I do think it's really cute I think this is something I'll bring to the parks change into take a picture change out of 
continue going on rides. I don't think I could wear this a whole day in the parks and be comfortable. I just, I just, that's not my vibe. So, yeah. Ooh, it would look cute with these little vans as well. Like a little skater girl kind of look. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. That's everything I got from Cider. Hope this was helpful if you plan on ordering from them. Um, yeah, I think I did decently well. I don't think I did great shopping for my size, but that's okay. It happens. I am very picky with clothing, so I'm not surprised that only a couple things really fit and were like really, really top notch for me. But it's okay. I'm going to go shopping maybe one more time before my Disney trip to grab all the like miscellaneous items that I still need to complete my outfits. So maybe I'll do a haul again of that later. Oh my gosh, there's like a million hauls on my channel right now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to go get changed for my nephew's party and I will catch up with you after. Hey guys, so it might not look like a ton of time has passed because I'm in the same spot, but a ton of time has passed. It is like 6 p.m. You can tell because my lipstick is like gone. I had so much fun with my nephews. Um, one of them turned one today and he's just the cutest little guy. And then the other one, he's like two. Funniest thing, we were playing, um, they had like beer pong set up, but just with water in it, so water pong. And we were playing that and I was sitting outside with him or my cousin and my boyfriend were playing it and I was sitting outside with one of my nephews um, feeding him a cupcake and he was watching them play and got really interested and started, no, I don't I don't want his face on video for YouTube. Oh, okay. Sorry. Because um, <laughs> no. I, I haven't asked Andrew and Paris about that. I don't want to assume. Um, but anyways, so he's like really invested in watching my cousin and my boyfriend play water pong and he wants to go try. He got it in five times granted he threw it a lot but on his third try he got it in a cup and he got it in four more times after that he's two it was the funniest thing i think my brother was like quite proud <laughs> um but i have something fun i want to show you guys because um my friend has these boots she posted about them a while back and ever since I've wanted them so bad they are from Betsy Johnson as you can see and my mom got these as a thank you to me for helping her out with babysitting my nephews helping her and my dad out with babysitting my nephews um a couple weekends ago or maybe it was last weekend I can't even remember you guys the main reason I wanted them is because they give me major infinity stones vibes and I want to do a Thanos bound with these look how freaking amazing these boots are they're a white like they're definitely a patent leather but they're not like a smooth patent leather they've got like some texture to them if you can see that there and then they've got jewels in like a little anklet around the boot and I mean they definitely don't look like expensive jewels you know what I mean but they are just so fun they're connected by this like chain link chain I just you guys for a Thanos bound are you kidding me so cute I haven't I haven't taken the other one out Like these with a Thanos shirt and like jeans or a skirt or something. Yo. <gasps> I cannot wait to wear these. I really hope that there's a Disney bound challenge prompt coming up that I can be Thanos for. I'm going to check and see if there is because that would just be like chef's kiss award winners characters from films that have won awards i wonder if endgame or infinity war have won any awards red carpet ready kingdom hearts well disney world hotels and or resort wear adventureland disney fab 50 statue okay hold on let me see if okay it looks like 
Josh Brolin does play Thanos, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh Brolin won an MTV movie award for Thanos in Avengers Endgame. Perfect. Okay, that's what I'm using these for. That's happening. Holy crap, I cannot wait for that bound. Let's do it. Okay. All right, I am going to work on some ears. I'm not going to film it because I filmed it in my past two vlogs. But I'm going to make some ears. I have so many to finish before tomorrow. And then um, I'll check back in with you guys when I go style outfits for tomorrow. So I basically need to style outfits for at least every single pair of ear. But like I'm hoping one outfit will work for multiple pairs of ears. So um, I'll let you guys know when I start styling outfits because I think you guys would enjoy that. Other than that, I'm going to go um, grab some juice turn on my computer so I can watch some TV while I do this and I'm about to crank these ears out. So I'll check back in with you in a little bit. It is a couple hours later now. I have made about four, five, six, seven more pairs of ears. Oh my gosh, I'm like getting exhausted. I literally had to step away because I was like literally making ears and I was like, I'm like making them. So I'm in my room now. I've got all of the ears I have so far laid out. So we have, let's see, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 pairs of ears. 23 pairs of ears. So what I'm going to do, sorry, my floor is so creaky underneath me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start. Um, pulling out outfits to match ears while well, I'm not in frame. Um, so <laughs> can you tell I'm tired and my brain is like not working? I'm going to be pulling out outfits to match all the ears. Um, and I'm just going to put this on time lapse because I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to listen to Disney music and, um, hype myself up so that I can hopefully after I finish doing this, go make a few more pairs of ears because I still have quite a few left in the docket. So yeah, enjoy this time lapse of me designing outfits. guys it is now sunday morning which means it's photo shoot day i'm so excited i seriously cannot wait to get these shots because i feel like this is like i might have talked to this talked about this in the vlog earlier so i'm sorry if i'm repeating myself but um i just feel like this is like me stepping into like the new era of my shop like stepping it up a notch upping the ante Mama, come here, crazy girl. Um, and just like you know, like be continuing into becoming like a real business versus like just barely a side hustle, you know. Um, so yeah, I am about to do my makeups. Oh man, and. Obviously, I just showered. Um, I need to blow dry my hair. It's currently it's currently 9.30, so we're a little behind. Um, I just showered. I need to blow dry my hair and then curl my hair. This needs to be cool. I went to go pick up my makeup bag yesterday, and the top wasn't on, so I picked it up, and it just, like, flopped open like this, and makeup went everywhere. So there's, like, a bunch of makeup in my little thing here okay anyways what was i saying i shower 
I need to blow dry my hair and then I need to curl my hair and then I need to I have an outfit laid out I'm just wearing like comfy clothes to go over there because um we're gonna do like up close product shots first which just requires like my hand um so I'm just gonna wear comfy clothes to head over there and then um after that we'll, we're gonna go over to the little photo depot area and that's when I'll change into like all of my cute outfits and everything um so but I still need to make like a couple more pair of ears before we go over there so I need to prioritize which ears I want to make because realistically like I have maybe uh, maybe like six ish pairs to make there's no way I'm gonna finish six pairs before I need to leave um so instead I think I'm just gonna have to pick which pairs matter the most to me um and then I'll just keep making them up until I have to leave but I don't think I'm gonna get through all of the ones that I do need to make but that's okay we're gonna do another photo shoot later for Halloween because I didn't have enough time to make all of the Halloween ears I wanted to make so I can always bring other ears whenever we do the Halloween photo shoot so and we want to do the Halloween photo shoot pretty soonish because I think I talked about this earlier that a lot of people have been favoriting Halloween stuff and even some Christmas stuff on my shop so I think people are just planning for their upcoming trips and Halloween at Disney starts in August um so I want to get ears out with plenty of time for people to buy them before their trips in August if they're going to be doing Halloween stuff in Disney in August so anyways I'm gonna finish doing my makeup um and sip on this coffee and then um I will head over to Shelby's she lives about 45 minutes from me um so I need to leave we wanted to meet around like 12 15 ish so I need to leave around 11 15 hence why I don't have that much time <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish my makeup and I will catch up with you guys after. Okay, I'm at Shelby's now and we have our, my camera's being weird, but we have our little setup going. We're gonna take some still shots, product shots of all these years. And I'm just gonna hold them with my new pretty nails that I just put on, so yay. has exploded on Shelby's basement floor we've just got a couple outfits just two or three nothing too crazy okay here's three different videos. okay we are at the photo depot at Mayberry at the mill it is so cute y'all like they have just got literally vignettes 
everywhere. Look how cute all the yellow. Circus. Oh, that would be so cute for Dumbo theme. Babe, you look so cool. Happy freaking birthday. Look at all the donuts. Good find, you guys. <laughs> Vlogception. All right, let's see. You're like really pretty. Oh my gosh, the denim. <gasps> Wish we had the denim ears. Yeah, seriously. Got the rose cart. We've got like a sweet shop in here, which is so adorable. I'm just doing a really quick walkthrough because we need to start shooting really soon. We only have an hour in here. <gasps> Guys, look how cute. Oh my gosh. Y'all, the Cruella vibes in this one. Mm. The Aladdin vibes in here. Y'all, I'm freaking out. This is amazing. Yeah. Freaking Aladdin vibes. Oh, this is black light stuff in here. We've got some old western vibes. Some little farmhousey vibes. So cute. Macrame over here. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say Again, I got tired eyes, need a cup of blend That's right, in the AM, that's my only friend No light, just the sun coming up on the horizon I lose track of time, yeah, I move fast and climb A new class divine, yeah, true passion shines And I'm through passing time, I choose stacking dimes You snooze half the time while I move passing by uh. I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play. Hey guys, I'm all done. Oh, I'm all done shooting with my friends now. Oh my gosh, it is 5 17 p.m., and I am absolutely exhausted. Like, I was going, going, going while we were there. We only had an hour. We ended up actually staying more like an hour and a half, but it's like an hour time slot at that place. Um, I'll leave a link below with all their info because if you're in the Canton-ish area, phenomenal place to go. They had so many vignettes, so many different styles, looks, color palettes. Like it was amazing. I had so much fun. But as soon as we got in the car to head back to Shelby's house, it like hit me and I was just like dead. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so exhausted. So I'm gonna stop and grab a snack on the way home cause I need to refuel and I do not feel like cooking. That's been a very common theme in my life recently. So I'm gonna stop and grab a snack on the way home and then tonight, I mean, 
I need I have tons of ears to get done for orders I have like seven pairs of ears that I need to make so probably gonna be spending my evening doing that but yeah I'm gonna stop and grab a snack and I will catch up with you guys when I get home I feel like I've been saying that a lot this vlog catch up with you guys but yeah catch up with you in just a bit hello there um it is like two weeks later I'm editing this vlog finally and no it's not a it's not two weeks later no yeah it's about two weeks later <laughs> um and I'm editing this vlog and I realized I never close it out so sorry about that I'm pretty sure I came home ate made ears and passed out and forgot to close out this vlog so I hope you guys enjoyed it I know this was kind of a long one um again I'm hoping I hope you guys are enjoying these longer vlogs I've really been enjoying filming them so if you liked it, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button down below to come hang out with me on the channel. I do Disney and other lifestyle content all the time. You can also follow my Instagrams. They'll be in the description bar below. And if you saw any ears you liked in the video, my Etsy shop will be linked down there as well. So yeah, let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I'm going to have tons of cute pictures to post. Um, I will also link my friend Kara's website. She is the main photographer. Like you see people shooting but because we had different cameras and we were just trying to get as many shots as possible. But I actually hired my friend Kara for this shoot. So if you're interested in lifestyle, um, couples stuff, um, I mean she does everything honestly and she does a really good job. Um, so if you're interested in some photography and you're local to Georgia, um yeah I will leave her contact information down there as well and yeah all right I'm gonna wrap it up I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video bye